Okay, I figured I'd take this video in black and white to kind of give it the effect of what this is. This is an old cemetery from the 1800s. I did research on it. It's called the Foss Burbank Cemetery and it's uh, 16 headstones. Kind of sad in a way. Everybody died in their 20s, except for these three right here. One, two, three. These three headstones are babies that died. Uh, like three months old, six months old, nine months old, something like that. I'm not really sure about the ages, but it does. it is something like that. None of them are I even made it to a year old, which is kind of sad. But it says that the entrance of the cemetery is marked with three baby headstones. And this looks like the this would have been the entrance back in the 1800s. To me, it looks like it. So, But you can see, you can't read anything on these. They made them... The headstones out of just regular stone. You can't read anything. But uh, like I said, there's 16 altogether. Here's another one. Um, oh, look, somebody was here to visit. I thought I was the only one who came here to visit. There's a pumpkin sitting right there. Look at that. That's nice. I'll go up to that one in a second. That one you could kind of read. There's only like three of them that you could read. Here's one. I don't know. There's words on it. I can't figure out what it says. Maybe John P. Right? John P. Something. We'll see. 1802, right? Died. February 2nd or 20 something. Looks like a piece broke off right here. 1802. Wow. You know, there's nothing that says, like, heaven or God. A lot of them have these weird symbols. <laughs> they kind of look like flying saucers to me. Uh, I'm not saying they are, but nothing says, like, you know, in heaven or God or God rest, you know, rest in peace. Nothing relating to religion. Uh... Here's one with the pumpkin. I see this one has those marks. Like I was saying, they look like, <laughs> like flying saucers, but hey, you be a judge, man. <laughs> but now this one, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to read. It's, uh, something son of... Son of Elaine and I don't know. This one looks like eighteen thirty two died at Uh, it's hard to tell. I need a little pumpkin there. That's cool. Somebody was here. So somebody must know who this is. Somebody still comes to visit. But here's the two that you can really read. These are my two buddies here. This is Francis. Foss. Easy to read. He died March 4th, 8th. 
26th year of his age. See, nothing else. Nothing about God or heaven. Which is cool. I mean, I, who knows what it was like back then. And then we have Susan and Anne here. Hi, Susan. We got Susan, Anne, wife of Richard Murray. Died May, is that? May 14th, 1848. At 22. Wow, 22 years old. What a shame, huh? So I guess uh, Francis was the oldest one here. Uh, he died at 26. So you got the headstones here and the footstones are there. I don't want to walk over their grave. But, uh, I don't know what that says. But this is it. This is the, uh, Foss Burbank Cemetery. 16 headstones total. Uh, I did some bushwhacking around. Oh, over there, there's a kind of like a crater looking thing. It doesn't look like a natural part of the landscape. There might have been a building there way back. And uh, of course, made out of wood, so the wood disintegrated and there's nothing left but a, a hole. And also back there I've, I've found uh, a lot of the same stuff. You know, cl cleared out areas with some like holes and even one one part was uh, the, it looked like a basement of a, a large uh, building because it had stone all around it and it was pretty deep, but no buildings, but it was cleared out. So like there was maybe like a little town back there. And uh, that's it, that's the, this is the Foss Burbank Cemetery. All right.